Hey, Daigo here from readings.com, where we help you find the best products for your needs. Today we'll be taking a look at the new Xbox wireless headset. We'll be going over the design, sound quality, isolation, leakage, and mic performance, as well as its connectivity and active features. Lastly, we'll compare it to some models and how it holds up. If you want to skip straight to a section, use the YouTube chapters feature. In the box, you will get a 1.5 foot USB-A to USB-C audio and charging cable, along with a user guide. If ever you want to connect the headset to a PC that does not have Xbox wireless connectivity, you will need to purchase a Microsoft wireless adapter separately. Otherwise, you can connect it via Bluetooth. The headset has a sleek design and has good build quality. It's mostly made of plastic and offers a similar look to the Microsoft Surface headphone. Overall, it is well built and feels sturdy. The headset has a black matte finish similar to an Xbox controller or console with a green ascent on the ear cups. The headband has a metal band inside and has full leather padding. The mic is not retractable, but you can store it by wrapping it around the left ear cup when you are not using it. We noticed that while testing it, the headset makes a small creaking noise around both ear cups. The dials on the cups also make a faint grinding noise and you can slightly lift them, exposing a little bit of the ear cup frame. However, this could just be our model, so please let us know if your experience is too. As for comfort, it is light on the head as it weighs 0.69 pounds. It also has a clamping force of 0.8 pounds, which is the amount of pressure that the headset exerts on your head when you have it on. Its low clamping force means that it shouldn't be fatiguing to wear for long gaming or music sessions. The headset also has decent stability, which should be good enough for gaming, but it can fall off if you use it during moderate physical exercise. Although the ear cups don't have any range of motion, they feel fairly spacious thanks to their depth, while the full leather padding is nice and plush. However, the headset is passably breathable as it has an average temperature difference of 7.0 Celsius. Since it's an over-ear design, its ear cups trap a bit of heat. This could be unpleasant if you intend to use it for physical activity, but it should not be troublesome while you game. The Xbox wireless headset has a very easy to use control scheme that provides great feedback. Because this is a gaming headset, it does not offer certain controls like noise cancelling or talk through. The lack of these features does not mean that it has poor control scheme, but it is optimized for gaming over casual use. The left dial is used for channel mixing. It makes a click to indicate when you've passed the middle setting and a dial to stop when you've reached the minimum or maximum setting. Similarly, the right dial can be used to adjust the volume. On the left ear cup boom mic, there's also a mic mute button with a light indicator that lets you know when the mic is on. Above it is a green power button that when pressed for 4 seconds also acts as a Bluetooth pairing button. The headset has different pairing chimes letting you know if you are connected via Bluetooth or wirelessly to a PC or console. If paired to an Xbox console, it will power it on at the same time you turn on the headset. Before we touch sound quality, if you aren't already and if you like our content, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to be notified for our next video. This allows our channel to grow. Also, check out the website for the full review here. The Xbox wireless headset has an extremely bass heavy sound profile that could be a hit or a miss, depending on your preference. We tested it using the default game EQ setting, which is the flattest EQ on its companion app. Since it has a very overemphasized bass range, some of it spills into the low mid range, which can make mixes sound muddy. The rest of the mid range is well balanced and neutral, though in the treble range, vocals and lead instruments are slightly veiled while its sibilants like cymbals are piercing. In all, they have an overemphasized bass, while the treble is somewhat uneven compared to our target curve. Its sound profile can also vary depending on its headset fit, positioning, and seal. If you wear glasses like me, you may notice a drop in bass when wearing the headset. Keep in mind that we tested it using the Game EQ. So if its sound is not to your liking, you can always customize it using EQs to slightly reduce the bass and give you a closer neutral bass as shown on the graphs along with the EQ changes we made to obtain them. That said, this headset offers great imaging. The weighted group delay falls below the audible threshold, resulting in a tight bass and a transparent treble. Both the left and right drivers are also equally matched in amplitude, frequency, and face response, so objects like footsteps are accurately placed within the stereo image. Headphones and headsets create a passive soundstage which help localize spatial cues in your audio around you. 
If you wish to learn more about this, then click on the link here. The passive soundstage on the Xbox wireless headset is poor, which is part due to its close back design. The soundstage can be perceived as unnatural as if the audio is coming from inside your head rather than from the speakers placed around you. If you prefer, it does offer virtual surround support like Windows Sonic, Dolby Atmos, and DTS headphones. Moving on to isolation. The headset struggles to block out bass and mid-range noises, but it does a better job at blocking high-pitched noises like the hum of an AC unit or a PC fan. Like I mentioned earlier, its fit, positioning, and seal also are not very consistent, which could impact its isolation and leakage performance. It also has a decent leakage performance, so if you are someone who likes to game or listen to audio at higher volumes, it is unlikely that it would bother those around you. One of the areas that the Xbox wireless headset does a great job at is its recording quality. The headset uses a flexible boom mic, which can slightly be adjusted. Your voice will sound natural and clear. However, the mic struggles to separate your voice from ambient noise around you in a moderately loud environment. If you wish to hear the recordings, I invite you to visit the full review on our website. One of the cool features this headset has to offer is that it can connect to your phone and your PC or console at the same time using both Xbox wireless technology and Bluetooth. In its Bluetooth mode, it offers a line of sight range of 117 feet in our testing facilities. You may come across a different result in your home environment. It also has 249 milliseconds of latency when connected to a PC. With that high of a latency, I would not recommend gaming on PC via Bluetooth. It did have better performance on smartphones with 0 milliseconds on iPhone and 12 milliseconds on Android though. Keep in mind that different apps compensate for latency differently, so depending on the ones that you are using, the latency could change. Luckily, when connected via Xbox wireless technology, it has a line of sight of 189 feet and a non-Bluetooth wireless latency of 51 milliseconds. So if you're connected in this mode, you should be able to game with minimal audio delay. Keep in mind that we tested the headset while connected to a PC, so we can confirm whether the measurement latency is similar when connected to an Xbox Series X, S, or Xbox One. Now, if you're someone that prefers to game via wired connection, you can use the USB-A to USB-C charging cable to play audio while the headset charges. Using this connection will also get you an audio latency of 69 milliseconds, which is slightly higher than that of its non-Bluetooth wireless latency. Its 1.5 foot cable isn't very long either, which is not very convenient, but you can always buy a longer cable separately if this is an issue for you. Also, if ever you are connected wirelessly to a PC or a console and decide to plug them to charge, the USB audio will override and take priority. If you need to charge the headset, it only takes three hours to fully charge when drained. It is advertised to have a 15 hour battery life, but when we tested it, it lasted 19.1 hours. This great battery performance paired with its auto off timer should be more than enough to last through several gaming sessions before needing to charge it again. We talked earlier about how you can adjust the headset's EQ using its companion app. You can also adjust the brightness of the mute light on the mic. It also offers auto mute, a feature that will mute your mic automatically if no voice is being picked up. Mic monitoring controls adjust how much of your mic audio is heard by the headset, but we currently do not test for this. The Xbox accessory app is available both on Xbox or Windows, but unfortunately not available on Android or iOS devices. So overall, the Xbox wireless headset is a good option if you want to pick up a more affordable wireless headset with a sleek design and wireless compatibility with Xbox consoles. It is more on the basic side of sound profiles, but it can be tweaked using their companion software, Graphic EQ or Preset. While its mic struggles to separate your voice from ambient noise around you, its recording quality is great so your voice will sound clear. If you prefer a headset with a more neutral sound profile and less bass out of the box, then consider getting the SteelSeries RTX 9X wireless. However, like the Xbox wireless headset, this headset sound profile could depend on their positioning, fit or seal. That said, it also comes with a good quality mic and will be able to perform well in noisy settings. Plus, it delivers 28 hours of continuous battery life and it can charge in 2.4 hours, which is less time compared than the Xbox One at 3.2 hours. Now, let's compare this headset to its rival, the Sony Pulse 3D. The Pulse has a decently balanced but warm sound profile. Unlike Xbox wireless headsets, strong bass and thumpy, boomy sound, the Pulse's bass is underemphasized. It has better mids which freeze vocals and lead instruments from harshness. On the other hand, its recording quality is not the best we have seen and could sound somewhat veiled and muffled. 
The mic also struggles to separate your voice from background noise. Its battery life won't last this long either, providing you with 13.4 hours while taking 3.3 hours to charge. It does, however, offer passive analog connections with full compatibility to either consoles, Xbox or PlayStation. In comparison, the Xbox headset, which won't be compatible with PlayStation 4 or 5 since it does not have an analog connection. If you want to compare this headset to another one of your liking, you can use our table tool where you can compare products side by side on our website. So what do you think of the Xbox wireless headset? Did you manage to pick one up? Depending on what I'm listening to, I prefer a more neutral sound profile with a bit of a roll off on the bass, flat mids and a slight V-shaped treble. This is my preference. What type of sound profiles do you prefer? And what do you look for in a gaming headset? Let us know what you think below. Also, we are currently hiring in our office in Montreal for various positions. So if you want to help people find the best products for their needs, take a look at our career page on our website. You can check out all of our measurements on our full review. If you like our content, subscribe to our channel or become an insider on the website for first access to our latest results. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.